real time derivatives of some of the entities we have defined. For instance, F, the grain of the formation tensor, the fundamental entity for measuring the formation. It depends on time, right? So it has fully sense that I differentiate this tensor with respect to time. So differential of F with respect to T is a second order tensor whose component IJ is the derivative of Fij with respect to T. Okay? So it's a second order tensor. And then it can be shown here that F dot, which is the notation that we use for time derivative, can be now expressed as L, the gradient of velocity tensor, times F. That's a formula. The, the, the proof of the formula is here. Just please check it. Okay? Then, do I want to differentiate not f, but f minus 1. f minus 1 is the grain, inverse grain of the formation tensor. Of course, it depends on, also on time. For every particle, though, then it, the, the, the material derivative of f minus 1 could be obtained. How? Oh, well, it's proven here. By the way, one looking at this expression, f times f minus 1 equal the identity, one could think that the derivative of respect to time of f minus 1 is the inverse of the derivative of respect to time of f. Which is not. You have to be more cautious than that, do the derivative of that, and the derivative of respect to time of f minus 1 turns out to be minus half f minus 1 times l. The strain tensor. What is the time derivative, the material derivative of the Lagrangian strain tensor with respect to time? Well, we have proven that. We have found this, this, this expression. Here is proven on the basis of this equality, the definition of E, and also taking into account the previous time derivative that we have derived. And by doing that, we recover the same expression. E dot e equal F transpose dL. Okay, that's mathematical implication. Now, the spatial strain tensor, the... the, the, the uh, L'Almansi strain tensor. Of course, we could think of the material derivative of this, to, of this tensor. Look, eh? when I say the material derivative, I mean the material derivative, not the local derivative. Eh? So that means that I'm thinking of the, a given particle. For this given particle, I'm following the particle and I'm measuring the Almansi strain tensor. <laughs> And I'm taking the variation of this Almansian strain tensor, following the same particle. Don't get mistaken. So, in order to get that, I have to, I mean, in principle or implicitly, I'm thinking in the spatial description of this tensor and the differentiation with respect to time. Anyway, after that, this is the thing. And by replacing the time derivatives of f and f minus 1, by replacing, I obtain this expression. Differential of, of volume. So I can think of a, a particle at x who has a differential of volume that change with respect to the initial differential of volume. So can I differentiate with respect to time this differential of volume? Yes, I can. For that, I use the some mathematical concepts. For instance, that one, which is the standard, the derivative, look, that is an interesting formula, not proven. The derivative of the determinant of a tensor with respect to the tensor. That is a derivative of the determinant of a tensor with respect to a tensor. What is the sense of that? Well, the sense of that is that the determinant of a tensor is a function of the components of a tensor, right? So I could differentiate every uh, this determinant with respect to the component ij, okay? And, of course, that is the component ij of this tensor. Finally, it can be expressed as derivative of one ten determinant one tensor with respect to the tensor is the determinant of the tensor times the inverse of the tensor transposed. Well, that's a formula that is not proven. By using that formula, we arrive to that formula which is very important. Look, that one. The div derivative with respect to time, the material derivative of the determinant of f is the gradient of velocity times the determinant of f. And in terms of that, 
The derivative with respect to time of the spatial differential of volume is the di divergence of velocity times the differential of volume. 